Hi everyone, welcome back to another week of Wednesday Whoopsies. I'm Az from Aqua Az, and we're going to be scrolling the depths of the internet to find the best aquarium related stories, accidents and laughs. Cue intro. Ever felt like swimming with sharks? I know I have. Be a cool experience one day. Different story for these 10 people at the Aquarium of Americas. These 10 people got special access to behind the scenes of the aquarium. As they were walking across the boardwalk that many of staff have walked across before, unfortunately the whole thing collapsed, plummeting 10 people into the main aquarium filled with sharks. Now the staff at the aquarium were very quick onto this and the people were only left in the water for a maximum of 15 minutes purely for the time it took to get each single person out. One staff member at the aquarium said that the sharks were pretty much scared off straight away from the noise and ruckus of the boardwalk collapsing and the 10 people falling in. There was four children involved in the incident and six adults. Uh, no one was seriously hurt. Some reports that some of the children woke up uh, with nightmares through the night. This is purely from the shock, obviously, of the incident as it occurred. So the aquarium itself was 20 feet deep, 400,000 gallons, and the shark inhabitants themselves was 24 nurse sharks and some sand tiger sharks. The human interaction in the aquarium was pretty rife, so it was nothing unusual for these sharks to actually see people bobbing, bobbing around on top of the surface. So the catwalk itself is purely reserved for staff accessing the aquarium. In this instance, it was opened up for VIP guests to see behind the scenes of what happens at the aquarium. What would another Wednesday whoopsie be without another aquarium breaking? Every Aquarius nightmare. Imagine walking through a shopping centre in awe of an amazing aquarium in the middle. When all of a sudden the tank cracks and bursts and a torrent of water flows down. This is exactly what happened at a shopping centre in Shanghai in 2012. When a glass aquarium suddenly burst sending a torrent of water flying through the shopping centre. Leaving 15 people injured and unfortunately some of the aquarium inhabitants including three lemon sharks, dozens of turtles and smaller fish. There was no exact reason found to why the aquarium itself actually burst. Uh, residents did report a sudden drop in temperature which may have caused the aquarium to give way. Eight of the people hurt were customers and the other seven were various staff members working throughout the centre on the day. Fortunately, some of the aquarium inhabitants didn't make it through this incident. The shopping centre later reported that it would be rebuilding this aquarium as it was a main attraction in the shopping centre. 33 tonnes of water is a lot of water. And I'll tell you what, that cleanup would have been absolutely crazy. So this is a story sent in by a friend. This is a common story uh, around the aquarium hobby and unfortunately it happens more times than you'd like to believe. This one involves a fully grown Oscar in a six foot tank. Now the man in question was feeding his Oscar uh, the night before and then sitting down to relax for a bit of TV before he wound down to go to bed. Turned the fish tank lights off, went to bed woke up and got ready for work and left. Unfortunately on his arrival home, the night prior he'd realised that he'd left the fish tank lid off in the midst of feeding. Looking through the front door, much to his dismay, he sees his fully grown Oscar sitting on the floor. Now, Oscars are prone to jump and are strongly advised to keep lids on their enclosures. Unfortunately all it took was one lapse in concentration the night before and not picking up on it the next morning and sadly the friend that he had had for years had sadly passed away. So unfortunately if this story tells you anything it's to please on your large cichlid aquariums keep solid tank lids on them so this event doesn't happen again. My friend wanted to share this story just so we could spread the word especially to newer fish owners if they do see this video. Please keep your tank lids locked tight for any fish that may jump out of your aquarium to prevent such an issue happening to someone else in the future. So the last story I have for you is from an aquarium in San Antonio, Corpus Christi, where an industrial chemical was mistakenly introduced into a large aquarium instead of the drug commonly used to kill lice and worms. Unfortunately, some rare species were among the 389 species killed in the rare incident. About 13% of the entire population had been wiped out including some sand tiger sharks. 
The aquarium size was 125,000 gallons or 473,000 litres. The incident was caused from a mislabeled container where the aquarium staff thought they were introducing a very low, low dose of the drug used to kill the worms and lice. Now our thoughts and prayers go out to the poor staff member involved in the incident as this is such an easy mistake to make especially from external parties that mislabel containers. So what can we get out of this story is please don't decant into other containers unless it's yourself and you relabel really well or to be safe, better safe than sorry just don't transfer chemicals into other containers keep the same same containers if you are going to transfer and transfer the same chemicals into the same containers with the proper labeling on them to try and prevent something like that happening in our aquariums at home there we go guys that brings us to the end of another week of wednesday whoopsies please smash that sub button definitely hit us up with your stories the links in the description below and please all the sources for these stories are in the description below and until next week guys See ya.